So here is where our story begins. King David had made a huge mistake and tried to cover it up. But in covering it up, a man was killed. God was very displeased with David's choices, so he sent the prophet Nathan to confront King David about what he had done. But Nathan didn't come in and be all, I know what you did. Instead, he chose to tell King David a little story to help him see the weight of his bad choices. This is that story. There were two men. One was rich and the other was poor. The rich man owned a ton of sheep, like so many sheep that if you were walking by and looked at all the sheep, you'd be like, whoa, that's a lot of sheep. Then there was the poor man. This guy didn't have a lot of sheep, but he did have a little lamb. Oh, cute little fella. Now, this poor man raised that little lamb. It grew up with his children. He fed it with the food off of his own plate. Gross. It drank from his own cup. Double gross. He cuddled it in his arms like it was a teeny tiny baby. So cute. One day, a guest arrived at the home of the rich man and the rich man decided to take one sheep and prepare it into a delicious meal for his guest. Now remember, the rich man had a ridiculous amount of sheep to choose from. He could have taken and prepared a meal from any one of his flock and never noticed a sheep was missing. But instead of making a meal out of an animal from his own flock, he decided to take the poor man's only lamb and prepared it into a feast for his guest. So that's the story that the prophet Nathan told to King David. And when King David heard this story, he was furious because he thought the story had really happened and he thought the person should be severely punished. He went so far as to say that any man who would do this deserves to die. He must repay four lambs to the poor man for the one he stole and for having no pity. Now, once David said this, Nathan told the king that David himself was the man in the story. The story was just a picture of what David had done. You see, David stole another man's wife and then had him killed to try and cover up his sinful choices. David realized what Nathan was saying and he confessed that he had sinned. He understood what a terrible thing he had done and he repented, which just means that he turned from his sinful ways back to God. God forgave David. And there were still consequences for his actions, but rather than continuing down his destructive path, he chose to turn back to God. And it's because of this choice that David, even though he made some terrible choices, is considered a man after God's own heart.